November 9, 2018, the day New Zealand stood still. Twitter user at Saxon underscore Loki tweeted a picture of what looked like Taylor Swift on a lime scooter along Auckland's waterfront, and New Zealand was stunned. Who was the mystery man behind her? Can anyone stop lime scooters from taking over the world? Why was she going to Mission Bay? But most importantly, was it really Taylor Swift? No one had the answers. Until now. Nah. Definitely like wasn't, nah, wasn't her. Ten minutes earlier. Oh, I was thinking we might flash back to this after the video of Taylor. Oh, that's good to say. Yeah. Okay, we've got Laura. Now Taylor. We've got Talia. Now Bouncer. Slash Bodyguard. That's right. With our TV show cancelled and Taylor Swift in town, we decided we were going to go viral one last time. And I had the perfect, easiest way to explain the game plan. Taylor, you're going to be this rock here. Okay. Talia, they're going to be coming along like that. Yeah. Ben, you and me are going to be over here. Andy, our director, will be t uh, holding the phone. Then we let them go off on the distance and viral sensation. It was a foolproof plan and the team was crystal clear. Well, everyone except our bodyguard. Weren't we the <laughs> other rocks? Hey? You were the other rock. Yeah. No, you were the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in hindsight, using rocks and <laughs> yeah. millions of rocks was a bad option. This was it. We were ready to go viral one last time. And after a group chant, one, two, three, viral! Viral! We set off to fool the world from the comfort of a heated car. We'll be in the car where it's warm. However, moments after hitting record, trouble struck. As it dawned on us, no one would believe Jono's old woman voice. Oh, so Taylor like, Swift! So like, oh, look at Taylor Swift! We had to come up with another game plan. Okay, so what we're doing now, are we doing the stills photo shoot? Though we had to be careful, as huge crowds of fans were starting to form around our fake Taylor Swift. It's Taylor Swift! See, he was happy. But regardless, we persevered and Ben lined up the shot. Yeah, boy! Yes! We had done it. We'd got the perfect shot. We were ready to fool the world. And after Jono forgot what a high five was... Just high fives all round. We sent the photo to our mate on Twitter. And the rest was history. The image was shared by New Zealand Herald. Herald. Stuff. Stuff. The spin-off. Off. And was spread like wildfire on Reddit. And best of all, no one had any suspicions it was us. Uh, I kind of feel like these guys might have known. And with that, our legacy as New Zealand's greatest prankers was cemented. And we were set to replace Sir Edmund Hillary on the fiver. They definitely aren't doing that, Johnny. Speak for yourself, Ben. Speak for yourself.